is Matthew. He fell in love with Nuve. After their first date, Matthew opened up to Nuve about his past. I'm a transgender man. Fourth grade, when you start going through like puberty, is when I was like, oh yeah, no, I'm not a girl. <laughs> Eight months into their relationship, Matthew became pregnant with baby Lotus. That's love right there. That's it. Unfortunately, Nuve's family have struggled to accept the relationship. I have to keep saying, you guys know that's not my friend, right? I, I made a whole baby with this person. The couple have also dealt with ignorant comments online. Who's the father? How did you have him? Does he still have breasts? People just don't get it. I'm Matthew. I'm a transgender man. And I'm Nuve. And, and we're, we're the, the baby, baby daddies. We met on Tinder after our first date. I like get a text after like I walk in the house. It was like a book. And I was like, what is this about? And it was him just explaining to me his experience with himself and coming to terms with even being trans, his family. My transition began at the end of high school just because I had to wait until I was 18 to do things. I changed my name and I started um, like hormone replacement therapy. And then as soon as I graduated high school, I got a job, acquired $6,000 and got um, my chest surgery done. Matthew was my first trans person that I've been with. To say it hasn't been new would be the biggest lie. I've had to definitely reevaluate things within myself. That was definitely, definitely a journey. A learning experience. Learning process. <laughs> I came in, I was like, I got you. You can hang out with me. And then we never stopped hanging out. Yeah. <laughs> We've been together for about like two years. I think the baby's hungry. Can you get him something to eat? Yeah, I got you. Nuve's family struggles to accept the relationship because they, they're a bit older. Due to my family being as religious as we are when it came to now me introducing a man who was born a female, he is now male. Even after that explanation, it was still like, huh, okay, all right. We're, we'll, we'll, we'll take it however you're giving it to us, but we still don't really understand. When it came to me announcing that Matthew was pregnant or that we were having a child, they literally hit us with a, oh, okay. The most uncomfortable isn't even in the general public. It's probably in like healthcare facilities. Every time I walked through that door, they were like, what are you here for? And where's your, your wife or whatever? And I'm just like I'm, like, I'm the one with the baby. It didn't trigger gender dysphoria doing something so quote unquote feminine as, you know, uh, being pregnant and giving birth. I was honestly amazed with myself. Like I was just like, oh, holy crap. I'm growing a person. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> The reactions that we get online, of course they are mixed between both positive and negative. Most people are really just interested in the dynamic of how I, as a gay man, met a trans man who then decided that they also wanted to be pregnant and then also have that baby, have no dysphoria. Who's the father? How did you have him? Does he still have breasts? Do you guys breastfeed? Um, did he get bottom surgery? So y'all gonna say congratulations, but not confusion. And then someone else is like, he's really a girl. And it just goes to show that a lot of people are simply uneducated. We mainly get positive comments here and there. We have congratulations, I'm a seahorse dad too, my son's two now. Hashtag parenting goals. I love this for y'all, congrats. I mean, that's love right there. That's it. Every single day that I wake up, I get to look at my kid and go, that's the ultimate source of happiness that I could possibly have right now. So other people could not possibly affect that. My family has come around just a tad because they're like, well, we want to be involved with the baby. We want to be here for the baby. Our friends have been so supportive. They've loved everything about our dynamic. The love that they show our kid, the support that they show our kid, it's ridiculous. On the horizon for us. Getting married. Getting married too. 
I couldn't ask for anything more than to be a parent.